Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about an application, a mobile application, both for Android and iOS called Adobe Post. So this is an absolute fantastic application. If you are a business or even an individual who wants to create great looking, unique, creative images to use for your social media, whether that be Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, uh, whatever it may be, this is a great little application and it's free. I'll put the link down below. It's free to download what, you know, either platform you can create awesome looking images to put with your social post. So let's take a look at the application itself. Now, as you can see, this is just the main page here where you can go through and select different templates. Now, uh, first off, when you log in, you can either log in with your Facebook account your Gmail or Google account, or you can just sign up with a new Adobe account. So you basically have to have an Adobe account, which this is a great way for them to get more people uh, into their system. So once you've signed up, uh, you're going to see a few different things. Now on the bottom, you're going to see three different options. You're going to see remix, which is the little green diamond there. You're going to see the green edition symbol, and then you're going to see my post. So these are little posts that you created yourself. Uh, that you can go and download to your phone to share on social. So let's go ahead and go to Remix and let's look at the settings real quick before we get started. So basically, uh, here you can just look at your account. As you can see, here's my account. Uh, so nothing really uh, to dive into under the settings, but just make sure you're logged in. And then once you've done that, let's go ahead and create a new post. So you can do it two different ways. You can do Remix, which is where we're at now, where you can create something using one of their templates. So let's just go to this guy right here. So it says, Happy New Year's 2016. Let's go ahead and click the green remix button down below, and you're going to have three different options at the bottom. Now, the one on the left is the design where the little magic wand is. We can go here and select through a bunch of different designs. So we can go here uh, and look at all of the different designs that they have available to you for free. Uh, there are some that cost money, but these are all free. And then once you've selected one that you like, so let's go with maybe, um, not that one. We can go through here to see if we can get some text that'll look good. Um, how about that guy right there? So the design is basically going to be the, uh, the image and text on top of each other. And then once you're done, click the green check mark down there below. And one of my favorite features is this next option, the palette here, uh, to be able to choose the colors. Now you can select the different palettes here to You can select the different color palettes here to go ahead and liven it up and change the different colors. But another great feature is you can click again on the same palette and it'll reverse and change the order of the colors. So it's going to be that same color palette, but you're going to be able to select a different color for a different area. So we'll go ahead and select that one there. Again, just click the check mark. And then the last one you're going to see there is photo. So click on the photo option there, and then you're going to be able to scroll through here and see the different filters you can apply to that specific photo. So we can go through here and let's go ahead and add that little filter there and then click the check mark. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is above the image, you're going to see two different things. You're going to see the little image icon as well as the text icon with the A and the plus symbol. Let's click the image icon. Now this is going to allow us to change the background image. So we can go to our photo library, which is our photos that we've taken on our phone and scroll through those photos, whatever those may be, and then select a photo and boom, you can use a photo that you've chosen on your phone to use within the app. Also, you can click and hold the icon there, as you can see, and drag it around. So you're just tapping on that, dragging around, and it will lock into place on center there, so you don't have to worry about that. And you can also change the font, the shape, the alignment, the opacity, the spacing. So all of that can be done. Like I said, go into color here. You can change the color. Uh, so basically, uh, if you want to change individual colors, but just click the check mark and you are ready to go. Um, so the next thing we're going to do here is let me just change that over to that there. And then I'm going to go back to the image there. And as you can see, we could choose the image. All right, and the last thing that you can do is go up to the little A with the plus symbol on it, and basically you can type something like type here. 
okay and then hit done and then basically you can add new type and drag that around if you want to so we can drag that to the top and then take what we already have and drag that down below so you can add all kinds of font all kinds of fun stuff and, and do some really cool stuff now once you're done you want to click the little save icon in the upper right hand corner right there so uh, once you've done that you click the save icon you can either save it to your phone to post later you can message it email it save it to notes Facebook uh, Instagram iCloud even if you're on Android save it up to Google Docs whatever it may be and you might have more opportunities to share it with other places depending on where you allow stuff to be shared on your mobile device now let's go back to remix here and let's go ahead and take a look at creating one from scratch now if we create this uh, from scratch we click or tap the green addition symbol at the bottom in the center of the screen then we have a few different options to choose from. We can choose a photo from our library, from the camera, or we can search their free photos. So let's search some free photos that they have available to us, uh, and then we'll just go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this guy right here with the leaves. Uh, and then once you've selected the photo, the template will become available to you to go and add text and images and different things like that. So you'll have to wait for it to load. And then as you can see, we now have our own template that we can edit the text so we just double tap there to edit the text and then you just type text here okay and then once you've typed the text you can change the color of that text so we can make it darker we can make it lighter uh, you can go through here and adjust whatever you want just like you would under the remix options and we can change the opacity like I was showing you earlier so guys this is just a fantastic application for you to go through and create tons of great looking photos to apply to your social posts. Now, again, all of these here are free, but if you go down to the exclusive ones here and we click on those, uh, basically you would have to share this application with either through email or through social media. So they have a great way of like, you sharing it as opposed to actually paying real money now when you first download the app you're going to see a watermark at the bottom of each image that says Adobe post you can click on that and remove that by just emailing it to someone uh, and a quick trick you can just email it to yourself and that'll remove the watermark so don't worry about that guys pretty easy to take care of and I really enjoy this app let me know what you think in the comments down below uh, if you created some cool stuff with it and uh, don't forget to subscribe slap that like button and as always guys thank you so much for watching my videos and I will see See you guys in the next one.